migration is a natural and positive phenomenon that needs to be supported and that tolerance, inclusion um, and justice are fundamental issues when we're talking about the possibilities that people have to cross borders. One of the issues I'm particularly concerned about is uh, the treatment of children and young people, including migrant and refugee children and young people. And I feel that the attitudes that increasingly we're adopting uh, towards them are counterproductive and are going to lead to serious problems in the future. So let me say a bit more about that. I think that many young people have a burning desire to explore, to improve their circumstances, to contribute, and that the structures that we have in place at the moment make that difficult, sometimes impossible. So, by way of example, if you're from a wealthy family, you have no problem crossing borders to study, to go and experience other cultures, maybe to get an internship. But if you come from a poor family, those opportunities, you can only reach them if you travel illegally, sometimes in very dangerous ways. That's wrong, and we need to change that. And so, one of the key goals, I think, of current attempts to reform migration policy, one of the key goals is to make migration available legally, safely and regularly for children and young people, much more than we've done today. Another issue I'm very concerned about is access to education, which of course is, to use the terminology being used here, a fountainhead of toleration and tolerance. Education promotes understanding, education promotes a widening of horizons, education is a fundamental social good. And by limiting access to education, we limit access to those social goods. So I think one of our imperative reforms is to make educational opportunity, not just primary school, not just secondary school, but tertiary and higher education, make it available much more broadly. And so I'm thinking of universities, including my own university, Harvard University, is a very elite, expensive institution. And I think we have an obligation to make the pedagogy that we produce available much more widely, much more broadly. We can do this using technology. We can use this by facilitating much more generous scholarships. We can do this by promoting global classrooms. So I think a lot of the efforts that we need to develop to make migration much safer and much more equitable uh, need to focus on the needs of the young people. These forms of discrimination, of course, are cancers in our society which create very serious spillover effects. So we see situations in which young people are excluded from the opportunities that they seek simply because of who they are, which they have no control over. And one of the goals of a liberal education, of course, is to challenge those sorts of intolerances and those sorts of exclusions. I think within the European Union or the European community, large strides had been made. Now, unfortunately, we see signs of serious regression. But elsewhere, I live in the States, elsewhere the picture is very bleak. And um, my hope is that those of us who are working in this field, together with young people coming up through the education system, uh, will reset the compass in a more inclusive and progressive direction.